Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and let's get to the point. Let's get to the point. Let's get to the point. Hey, I'm getting it from Media Takeout, y'all. They said Mar Daly is trying to take the baby from Kenya. Okay, you just can't make this shit up. All right, this is the second installment of the Kenya Moore's train running amok. Okay, yes, this is what I am saying. This is what Media Takeout is giving me. All right. The story was dropped on Friday, September the 20th. It reads, ATL housewife Kenya's ex-husband wants custody of the daughter. But let's get on into it. Let's get on into it. Then I'll give you my spiel. Then I'll, uh, I don't know. We'll deliberate somehow. Okay. Because it's going to be something. Something I'm going to have to say out of pocket. But it goes in. It doesn't give who wrote the article. It says a staff member. And I'm cool with that. Published on September 20th. It reads, Kenya Moore announced abruptly yesterday that she and her husband of two years, Mark Daly, are divorcing. Well, now, media takeout news have learned that Mark also wants custody of their daughter, Brooklyn. <laughs> like... You just can't make this shit up. I'm like, dude, you already got other kids out there. All right. You got other kids out there. At least I knew of two, I think, somewhere I read. And, you know, and then I heard that you were married before. But then I hear another story from another blogger that you had told Kenny you never were married before. But that's neither here nor there. Let's just get on into this mess. Well, he's talking about he's trying to take cookie cookie. Bricky cookie ticket from Kenya Moore. I don't think so. That lady would go down. She would put everybody in flames that would try to take Miss Brooklyn from her. Her miracle baby? No. <laughs> the public will have to step in then and petition the court to ask, has Mark Day lost his mind? Has he lost his ever-loving mind? Now, he couldn't be with Kenya here in Atlanta. He couldn't stay here. All right. He's barely here from what Kenya's talking about because she had a breakdown. Remember, I had brought that story to you all. And she's been living like a single mom over there in Moore Manor. All right. So my thing is, you don't want to be on TV, which, you know, that's her bread and butter. That's how she uh, pays her bills. That's her livelihood. And she was doing that before she met you. But like I said, I had to put flag on plate for Kenya because she didn't do her due diligence to say, look, I am going to keep my way of living. How I get down, how I make my money. It's in the entertainment field. I'm going to be producing. I'm going to be writing. I'm going to be um, still with Real Housewives of Atlanta, trying to get back with them. I was a full-time employee, not a part-time, not a, a guest. Or a friend or a friend of the show. I need to have my peach back. Okay. I need my Dore me. My uh, money back. My Benjamins. Okay. Just in case you die. Or you know by natural causes of course. Or we don't make it. You know what I'm saying. It's always that possibility where we grow apart. And look at your now. Point taken. You need your income. You're going to be a single mom. Well, how you say you've been single since you had the baby. So I don't know. Because on the other side, you were saying you were happily married. Uh, God sent you your perfect maid. Da, 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 da. Now all the shit is in your face. But you know what I'm saying? I'm riding for you. But when you start talk going left or you start talking outside of your neck, I'm pulling over the train, pulling over the bus, taking a flight. Uh, we're in the air, but we're going to be dropping some uh, degrees in the air because we might have to uh, come on down, land on the airstrip, put the plane in the hangar, and call it a day. Because we, we, we can't only go but with, with you so far, can you? Now, I, I'm, I'm, I feel that I'm very unbiased. And when I go in on a particular housewife, it's because I'm doing it for their good, for the greater good, okay, to keep, them, keep you all grounded on what's really important. What's really important, okay? That's just the southern in me. That's the mother in me. Okay, that's the wisdom speaking out in me. But let's get back to the article. It said, um, yeah, according to a friend of Mark's, the New York business, businessman wants to raise his daughter and said, Mark loves Brooklyn and she loves her daddy. He will always be in her life. I'm like, for one, you could take Mark wholly out the picture and Brooklyn will attach 
to another man, okay? Because she's too young to even form who mama, who daddy. I mean, you're going to always know who mama is because they had that, that scent and you've known their voice from day one when they were developing and, and raising and, and you were growing in the fetus and the womb, you knew your mama, okay? Now, daddy, that's kind of suspect. Anybody can play the part, <laughs> okay? When you make that bond with daddy, it's more so when you're out of the womb and the uh, dad is always around. She hears the voice every day. She feels his touches and that type of bonding. From what I understand, the Mark ain't had none of that. Mark barely here, probably barely made the pregnancy delivery, and he just hadn't been around. So how is he wants to get his claws into uh, baby Brooklyn? Talking about he wants, uh, he didn't say soul custody, he said custody. So it could be soul custody with me just re reading in between the lines. Mark wants some child support. He want to be your spousal report. I was like, Ken, did you do a prenup, baby? Did you do a prenup? Because if you did, I'm going to slap you on your kneecaps. Because, that, I mean, that, that that's the first thing anybody in the entertainment business that have a large platform such as yourself, you need to guard your Benjamins. I mean, what in the heck are you going to have by the time you keep fooling with Mark Daly on a regular basis? He drains all your income. How you going to look out here, girl? I know you got a college background, so you probably gonna have to go back to school and get in an executive field in the corporate world and do your thing and be your entrepreneurship on the side. Um, honey, unless you're giving um, Bravo some more drama, which it seems like you're going to be a hot ticket commodity to be looking at for season 12, you might solidify your whole full-time <laughs> benefits package back. I'm just saying, okay? But getting back to the article, it says, uh, the friend also added Mark wants some form of custody, maybe joint custody, to ensure that he will be entitled to protection as Brooklyn's father. No, Mark, no, flag on play, flag on play. Let's stop all running on the field. Okay, we're on the football field. Now, come Mark talking a bunch of shit. I look at it two ways. Mark on full custody where he can milk Kenya. For some, uh, probably spouse. I don't know if you can get spouse support. Depending on how she worked her agreement, that she her contractual agreement she played out with all. You know, maybe that she was uh, promised some benefits of some sort, some perks, and she got to pay off. Okay, I understand that. Now, if he talking about uh, joint custody, where he don't have to pay child support because in joint custody, from my understanding, there is no really no cost of each party. It's just like, say, if you had a child for six months, and then the child will see the father for six months, y'all taking care of the child equally. You see what I'm saying? And with Mark being a successful businessman in the restaurant world, my thing is, when you going to have time? Because that's all I heard people telling me. Mark is a businessman. He he be moving and shaking. I ain't seen him on 4 or 500 yet, but you know, I'm just going from what naysayers say when they come approach me and my comment says, he got it going on, da da da. So when is he going to have time? To raise his children. Because he got a few more out there other than baby Brooklyn. All right. Don't know if Kenya Moore knew about it or not. Because I'm hearing she didn't even know about her ex-wife. She didn't know about no other kids. But yeah, I'm like, I could have sworn when Mark came on the scene, they said he had children. So like I said, I don't know who's right and who's wrong. Who's reporting the good news? Who's reporting the bad news? I'm just taking it all in and deciphering through the bullshit. Okay. And then I'm going to put my spin on it and put it back out there for y'all. To partake of, okay? Because that's what damn Chanel 44 do. That's what we do. We get down, we get dirty, and then we try to make some sense of this shit, okay? Logically, we're, we're forming our own hypothesis. We're looking at all the evidence. We're, we're observing. We're doing tests. And then we come up with a final conclusion of what we got, what the subject looks like, what the matter is going on, okay? Getting back to the article, it says, um, uh, the friend also added Mark wants some form of custody, maybe joint custody, to ensure that he will be entitled to protection as Brooklyn's father. I don't nobody else want Brooklyn out you out, out, out here. Don't nobody want uh, Brooklyn out here but you, Mark. Okay? And you ain't doing a very good job at this time because you've been an absentee father since the day she bought, was brought into the world safely by the Lord, the Creator. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Okay, but I don't know. Can you might be into that? Uh, I don't know. Let's not even go there. This is a sidebar. I was gonna say, but there ain't no sense of going there to another day. All right, when I'm really ready to dwell into that. But um, yeah, no, Mark. Uh, the baby looks just like you. 
there's not going to be any mistake that the baby belongs biologically to you. You can do a DNA test. You know, that makes all, all of us feel well. And if you want to give us the information for us, we the people, you can. But it's not necessary because the baby looks just like you. So the baby looks like both of you and King, but definitely got your stamp of approval uh, for facial uh, features from you, Mark. Okay. All right. Uh, going back to the article, it says, and this custody battle is likely to end in fireworks. Okay. We spoke to a person close to Kenya and brought up the idea of Mark getting custody of Brooklyn and her friend exploded. I'm like, God, dog, no. everybody just exploding. Throwing tsunamis over here. The end of the world, the apocalypse, because it's a threat that Mark wants his baby. He wants his custody. He wants to have Brooklyn move to New York. Like, what are you going to do in New York? She like to visit, okay? Unless she's going to be on the New York uh, housewives up there. I, I'm not sure. But she, like I said, she's been, uh, her, her little dwelling digs have been down here in Atlanta, Georgia, from where you just, you don't frequently visit. Uh, I can't even call you a house guest. <laughs> Okay, you just pop in. You like a little Rolling Stone. Papa was a Rolling Stone. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he died, all he left was alone. Y'all remember that? I know y'all do. Okay, when I talk sometimes. Music just come up in my uh, mind, and I just have to spill it out. I had to let it all out. Y'all had to get y'all all of me, all of me. Okay, but anyway, uh, it says, "Hell no, Mark's not getting any form of custody." Kenya has been raising that baby as a single mother. That eager is probably trying to get child support from Kenya. Hell no. Now you know who that sound like. I ain't saying it is. It's all allegedly. It's all in my mind. I'm just giving you the tea that I think. Okay? I think that's her aunt <laughs> who dropping tea to the media. Okay? Especially when she said, oh, hell no. And, and he ain't getting that baby. Okay? So I'm like, oh, now the ooky, ooky, cookie, tookie come out. The real likes and dislikes of who really was in March team. And was this truly a marriage to behold. Okay, but anyway, y'all know how I feel about that. I kind of know how some of the supporters of Kenya Moore's uh, feel about it. So we're going to not trade water there. We're going to go on. We don't agree to disagree, all right? But then we go back to the article. It says the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta is about to be on and popping. That's right. Yesterday, Kenya announced via Instagram. Okay, it just pretty much just said um, she telling everybody. You know, her Mark Daly is not an item anymore due to unforeseen circumstances and this, that, and the third. Okay, and they calling it quits, but they will try to co-parent and this, that, and the third. Now, I'm telling you, I got a few more uh, videos to make on Kenya. Yes, I'm dragging it out, giving y'all piece by piece, because it came to me piece by piece. All right, so I didn't want to hold you up. Like I said, this is uh, a new segment I am putting out for all of my supporters. It's called You Get the Tea Right on the Spot. Once you hit click, it's coming to you. Now, whether you want to stay the rest of the video, that's up to you. That's strictly up to you, because I give, I ask for 60 seconds of your time. And what I am or am not doing uh, for keeping your attention, then I can. Go ahead. You gave me 60 seconds to prove to you that I had something to say. All right. For the ones been rocking with me from the first start of the video to the end, blessings to you all. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for liking and sharing my video. Yes, 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 yes. But you know, I like it when you subscribe, 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 subscribe. Like my videos and share. Okay, I will see y'all next video. And that's where we're going. We're going for part three. We're going to see what else we can find out. Okay, peace and blessings. Bye.